Today we're going to continue working on our project of keeping your fingers safe while working with fireworks this 4th of July by creating our own igniter with an Arduino board. In a previous video, we used a board Arduino from Adafruit Industries, Adafruit.com, on a breadboard uh, for our kit, but that was just a prototype, and we're going to do something a little more permanent today. Um, and uh, although it will be permanent, I do plan on continuing this project and taking it a few steps further and modifying it in the future. Uh, but I'm going to use a similar board. This is a uh, RBBB kit. It's from Modern Devices. It's almost the same thing as the uh, Borduino. Um, I'm going to put it together, but I'm going to modify it a little bit to uh, embed what I need into it. So instead of... Uh, as the same as with the Borduino, where we've got uh, pins here to put this into a breadboard, I'm going to leave most of those off on this board and just solder the LEDs directly into our pins on to this project. Uh, and I'm also going to leave off a lot of stuff like uh, the programming pins, and just because I won't need them, because I'll just program the chip inside another board like my Borduino and just move the chip over, and that will allow me to save the pins for another project, because those pins cost money and I don't need them after I set up the board once. So let's get there. I'm going to put this together, then at the end I'll go over the modifications I made from the actual product. So let's get started. Okay, so I finished my project here. There are a few things I didn't get in the video at the end there because I was kind of doing this as it went along. I didn't have an exact plan. I just had an idea, so I had to stop the video and figure out some things. Uh, first thing you may have noticed in the video is I only put three red LEDs. reason for that is that I uh, didn't account for the space that the LEDs take up. So I redid the code, just removed the other two LEDs. So uh, the timer's a little shorter now, but you can always change that in the code later. I also put uh, the transistor over here, and what I did was I attached it to a two pin, uh, the resistor at one two pin, one pin of the two pins, and um, the uh, other ones, the five volt, that was the pins from the pin rail that's supposed to go into the breadboard. I just clipped off two, put them on there, and then what I did is I took uh, an LED plug from an old, uh, old uh, computer, and I soldered the electronic match onto the end of that so that I can disconnect and put new uh, 
fuses on without having to solder and unsolder, and that makes pretty stable connection. So, I'm gonna throw on my shoes, gonna head outside, and uh, give this a try. Hopefully my design worked. Oh, another thing I did also, might as well mention it. As I said, I left out a lot of the pins and programmers and the button to reset it because I don't need all that in this exact project. Another thing I did was, here is the uh, Atmega 3, um, 3, 328 chip that comes with most Arduinos nowadays. I didn't use that because this project doesn't take up much space, so I'm just using an old uh, Atmega um, 1... 168, I think. Yeah, I can't read it. Yeah, 168. Using an old Atmega 168 uh, from my old Note Nerd Kits project. If you watched a previous video of mine, I showed you how to uh, load the Arduino bootloader on one of those. So since that's a cheaper chip, and I don't need the more expensive chip, I'll save that for another project. So I still have a lot of extra parts here, some LEDs and stuff that came with this kit that I don't need for this project, and I'll just put them away in my storage bin back here and use them later on. But let's go outside. Okay, here we got our uh, little igniter all set up, connected to the smoke bomb down here. Got to turn it on, LEDs will flash, and after a few seconds we'll get ignited. Oh, let's put this so it's in range of the camera. Up here. here we go. filmsbychris.com for updates on this project as we improve it and make it better to give you a safer 4th of July and don't burn your fingers. Have a great day.